All right, so let's do a quick little revision here on remainder and uh, factor theorem. Right? It's a little bit of maths. Questions will be a little bit longer, but it's very similar to what you would have done in maths. Right, so what does the theorem say? If f of x is divided by ax plus b, then the remainder is what? Anybody remember? What's the remainder? f of what? Minus b over a. If I just get that again, right? You take ax plus b and you make it equal to zero and solve for x. Right, if the remainder is zero, then what? Then we know ax plus b is a factor. Okay, that's something quick for us to remember. Let's see if we could see if we could do this. Tell me what's the remainder here. Use long division, eh? 3x cubed minus 2x squared plus 4x plus 1. See how much you remember. What's the short way to do it? To, to check out if you answer right. Plug in minus 1. Very good. Plug in minus 1. So what you could do is on the side, use the theorem. Find f of minus 1. So that's minus two by one, minus four plus one. Minus three minus two minus four plus one. That looks like minus eight, yes. Minus eight. So the minus eight people, you are correct. So I'm going through the whole thing now. X into three X cubers, three X squared, right? Remember this, this into this, right? X into 3x cubed is 3x squared, 3x squared by x, 3x cubed, 3x squared by 1, plus 3x squared. Then you minus 3x cubed minus 3x cubed is 0, minus 2 minus 3 is minus 5x squared. So you bring down the 4x and you bring down the 1. Okay? Then you go again, right? X into minus 5x squared is minus 5x. Minus 5x by x is minus 5x squared. Minus 5x by plus 1 is minus 5x. Subtract, subtract. Right? You will get 0, then 4 minus minus 5. That will give you 9x plus 1. Right? x into 9x is 9. 9 by x is 9x. 9 by 1 is 9. Subtract, and we get negative 8. Okay? So remember, this is just to check your answer, right? Okay, next one, just try back one just like this, and then we're going to go into the, what you, what you will see in, um, in unit one. Seven X cubed minus four X squared plus two X minus five. Try that there tomorrow, chica. Right, so x into 7x cubed is 7x squared. 7x squared by x is 7x cubed. 7x squared by minus 1, 7x squared. Right? Subtract, subtract. Right? This will be 0. Minus 4 minus minus 7 is positive 3x squared. And then you bring down the 2x, and then you bring down the minus 5. x into 3x squared is... 3x, 3x by x, 3x by minus 1. Subtract, right? We get 0 here. We get plus 5x minus 5, All right? Now, x into 5x is positive 5. 5 by x is 5x. 5 by minus 1, minus 5, 0, All right? So what does that say about x minus 1? So x minus 1 is a factor. So now that we kind of remember some of the add maths work, I want to show you what it will look like in um, pure maths. So what you see, this is 2015. Plenty marks, but a lot of work in, right? They gave you an equation, and they said that it's a factor when divided by this, and a remainder when divided by this. Okay? And then they want you to find P and Q. So what, what, what does that tell you? If you have two unknowns, what does that tell you? Right. We're going to have to solve simultaneously. 
And if you have to solve simultaneously, it means that you need two equations. So from this information here, let's see if we could get two equations and then solve them to find P and Q. Right, so I just check in your equations to make sure it right. So it told you that this is a factor. So it means that f of five is equal to zero. So when I plug five in there, I'm supposed to get zero, right? So um, f of five is equal to five cubed plus p by five squared minus five plus q. And that's supposed to be zero. So this is 125 plus 25p minus five plus q is zero. So I could go ahead and make Q the subject, right? Q is equal to minus 120 minus 25P, equation one. Let's check your second equation. The second equation is F of one is equal to 24, right? So F of one is what? One cube plus P by one squared, minus one plus Q is 24. I got P plus Q is 24, right? Now solve simultaneously and then factorize, right? So let's make sure we get the same answers. Substitute equation one in equation two. So you're going to get P, I substituted Q, right? Remember, this is Q. So P minus 120 minus 25 P is 24. So minus 24 P is equal to 24 plus 120. So P is equal to 144 over minus 24 is how much? Minus six. So therefore, if we know what P, we could easily find Q. So therefore Q is equal to minus 120 minus 25 by minus six. So that's 150 is what? Two. Okay, nice. So we know what is P and Q. So we know that F of X is equal to X cube minus six X squared minus X plus 30. And the last part is to factorize, right? So to factorize the one is a cubic, right? So they want the three terms that'll give you that. So what you have to do is long divide, okay? What was, the, what was the factor again? Right, the factor was x minus five. So divide, divide x minus five into x cubed minus six x squared minus x plus two. The remainder is supposed to be zero. Take your time and do it. When you get the answer on top here, that that's a quadratic, you still have to factorize that. And your last line should be the three factors. X into X cubed is X squared. X squared by X is X cubed. X squared by minus five is minus five X squared. Subtract, subtract. This is zero minus six minus minus five is minus X squared, right? minus x plus 2t. x into minus x squared is minus x, minus x by x plus 5x. Subtract, this is zero, minus x minus five is minus 6x plus 2t. x into minus 6x is minus six, minus six by x plus 2t. This is zero, so we did it correctly. We still have to Come here now and factorize this. So this is x minus three, x plus two. So therefore the factors of f of x, remember the question asks you to factorize. So give them everything. That'll be x minus five, x minus three, x plus two. Right, you, you might recognize that the five marks easier than the, well, shorter than the four marks. Right, that's happened, right? Um, let us take a look at a slightly more challenging one. This is 2016.
So x plus three is a factor. So it means that f of minus three is equal to zero, right? And then this set is a remainder of 10. So it means that f of minus one is equal to 10, right? And you're going to get two equations that you'll solve simultaneously. So the equation is what? Two by minus three cubed minus three squared plus P by minus three plus Q is zero. Minus three plus Q is equal to 63. That's equation one. Now F of minus one is equal to 10. So that's two by minus one cube minus minus one squared plus P by minus one Q is 10, right? So I have minus two minus one minus P plus Q is 10. So I got minus P plus Q is equal to 13. Next step, subtract one and two, I'll get minus two P is equal to 63 minus 13, that is 50. So I got P to be minus 25, and therefore Q will be minus 12. That's the answers. Good, so we're good to go on the first part. So you have X plus three, two X cubed minus X squared, minus 25 X by Q. What's Q again? Minus 12, right? So the bad thing is you're going to have to show all the work in. The purpose of the calculator is to just check and see if you get the same answer, right? And X plus two as the factor, right? X into two X cubed is two X squared, two X squared by X is two X cubed, two X squared by three, subtract, subtract. So this will be minus seven X squared minus 25 X minus 12. X into minus seven X squared is minus seven X minus seven X squared minus 21 X subtract. I got minus four X minus 12. X into minus four X is minus four minus four X minus 12. And it'll get zero, right? And then we have to factorize two X squared minus seven X minus four. Well, actually not factor, I solve it. What you all got here? Minus a half and four for those answers. So the final answer is X is minus three minus a half and four, right? So sometimes they ask you to factorize A squared minus B squared. We need to factorize A to the N minus B to the N. N could be any power. And sometimes we need to be able to factorize a to the n plus b, b, b to the n, okay? So what do we know, right? There's one that we should know. We should know that a squared minus b squared is a plus b by a minus b. If I were to take a plus b and divide a plus b into a squared minus b squared, what would I get without doing it? What would I get? If you long divide a plus b into a squared minus b squared, you will get a minus b. So I wanna show you how to do that. And that might lead you into figuring out the homework, how to factorize a cube minus b cube, a cube plus b cube. So I wanna show you what to do. Let's take a look at this. It's exactly what you've been doing all the time. A into a squared is what? A, a by a is a squared, a by b is, positive AB, subtract, subtract. A squared minus B squared is zero. Nothing minus A plus B is minus A plus B. And you bring down the minus B squared. Notice on top here, there is no AB term, right? There is no AB term, right? So zero minus plus AB is minus A. So zero minus plus AB is equal to minus AB. That's how I got this here, okay? And last step, 
last step, you divide A into minus AB, and you will get minus B. Minus B by A, minus B by plus B is minus B squared. So therefore, A squared minus B squared is equal to A plus B by A minus B. I want you to use that same logic and see if you could figure out how to factorize these two.